Alright guys, it's Sam Sarson for Good and Evo here. Today, I'm going to show you an easy little hack. Super easy. So normally, you go to menu settings, about phone, software information. It's pretty boring. Today, I'm going to show you how to change that. So right now, if you look at build number and software number, there in the middle of your screen, um, I changed build number to Good and Evo, and I changed software number to Gingerbread version 2.3.3. But, wouldn't that be cool if you could change this? You know, there's many reasons. Maybe you want to screw with your friends and tell them it's iOS 5. Maybe you want to put in, you know, ice cream sandwich on it. Whatever you want to do, whatever your reason for doing it, um, it's really easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, go in here to Root Explorer. All right? It's really $3 usually. Um, and I think it was a dollar on Amazon App Store a little while ago. Now, while you're in here, go straight to System and then you'll see this thing in the corner you want it to say RW in the little gray font here on the left and RO over there which means we are now readable and writable right um, and then click on build prop and you'll notice a whole bunch of crap on here alright one more time system build prop build dot prop this file bunch of crap we want to edit it so long press this comes up somewhere it says open a text editor right there and then work your way down till you see row.build.description so I have two in my build prop you may just have one I don't know um, you can change this whatever you want right now we're gonna go just a little bit farther to row.product.version which is right here so there's the first one just for clarification purposes row.build.description right there. The next one is called row.product.version and I want to change that to say ice cream sandwich version 4.0 Oh, point one. All right, get rid of my little typo here. All right, and then you just hit menu, save changes, and it saves a backup file in case you have a mistake, which is nice. Um, I would recommend before you do this, do an Android backup. Still gonna recommend that. Um, and there you go. So then you just hit home, and then when you reboot, make sure you do a full reboot. Reboot normal. All right, don't do a hot restart. Normally with the modifications, I show you a hot restart's fine, but for some reason with this one, you need to do a normal reboot. Just hit okay, and you're fine. For me, I'm gonna edit out of the screencast recording since I'm done showing you how to change your version number. Um, I will also post a screenshot of my final product at the start of the article so you guys know that it worked. All right, have a good day. This is Sam Sarson from Good Nevo signing off.